dirty is your carpet and how is it affecting your home? These things we all need to know or we should know. I didn't actually realise how a dirty carpet could affect your your, your health and yourself um, until I started working for Art of Clean. So it, it's the, these are good lessons to learn and these are good things to, to know about. So welcome, Pierre. Thank you very much for having me again. That's all right. We um we need experts, and all our other experts are out on the road. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Busy. <laughs> yes. Clean carpet, so, saving the world. Exactly. Our heroes. Um. So could you explain to people? Because we all need to know. It does affect you quite badly, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yes. How does a car? How does your dirty carpet affect you? Yes. There's many different ways in which a carpet that's not clean can affect not just your health but also your wealth or your pocket yeah. um, so a few things we can explore in this one um, let's start with uh, considering uh, carpet that is installed of course after the purchase of mm -hmm. a home the next biggest investment anybody that buys a home flooring. would make would be the flooring in the house yeah. um, then after that would be probably the furnishings, but flooring would probably at the top after the investment you make in your home itself. So that's why it's so important to actually invest in it as well at maintaining it. Yeah. It's a bit like buying a car. You're going to change the oil. You're going to take it for a service. If the, there's a funny noise, you're yes. going to do something about it. You are, yeah. We should. Sadly, the <laughs> carpet and the floors don't make a funny noise no. when they go wrong. Please help me. <laughs> no, they don't do that. It'd be nice if they did. <laughs> Although sometimes they do because there's a stain or a mark or a problem and then we'll put something over it. Get a run. Cover <laughs> it up. cover it over. Cover it over. Can't we don't have to worry about it. So let's explore what uh, are those first things. So let's take through the journey. Let's take the journey of it. Uh, we're buying a house and we're going and we're investing in a nice floor. Uh, we've gone over to see Art of Flooring, Sandfell and Sally, for example, and Milton Road in Cambridge. We chose a very beautiful floor. And I want to focus maybe on this video about carpets. Of course, your question is aimed at carpets. So we then choose this lovely, beautiful wool carpet. And uh, the carpet goes down and two years go by. We enjoyed the carpet. The carpet might have had protective coating applied when it was new. It helps a little bit. The results of yeah. cleaning is better. That buys me time. When there's a spill, I can clean it up and get a better result. And after two years, there's the odd drip of coffee on the stairs. What happened to me? <laughs> drip of coffee on the stairs. And you go, mm, yeah, so maybe it's there, maybe it's you not. You should know better. <laughs> and then, um, you know, there's the toast that falls with the butter down oh, and you yes. think oh yeah that should be all right and over time these little things build up but there's another part that builds up that people don't necessarily realize and that is the dry soil in the cup if you go ahead and you move the bed away from the wall right the bed has stood there for say six months or even more sometimes where you haven't moved it because sometimes the bed's very heavy but go ahead and move that bed away from the wall look at the skirting board at the back of the bed and you'll notice there's dust collecting mm. you'll notice on the bedside table if you don't dust it there's dust collecting on the bedside table you'll see dust on the windowsill what I like to do is I've got a little Dyson um, handheld, handheld yes. right and I put the little short attachment on and I go around with that thing on a Saturday <laughs> and I whiz around do all the little edges. And, and it's very nice because you can get you know the bed has got my bed has got some little wooden slats like that on the foot end and in between this and dust, dust yeah no, no. so I get that in there now if you imagine that you move the bed back you've seen all the dust there you see the dust on the bedside table you see the dust on the window still the dust on the bed the frame um, imagine what happens to your carpet. Yeah, you don't think about how much dust is actually on your you carpet, don't, do you? don't, because no. that goes in the carpet, it goes inside the fibres and it sits in there. And then the other thing that happens is you walk in from outside and there's a little bit of sandy soil that sticks to your feet. It's a bit rainy, it's a bit of mud. But it's so little that you don't notice it come in and then you tread that onto your carpet. The first few steps on the stairs, they usually get the most, most use. So that all starts to build up without us knowing. It's not like the car where there's suddenly a funny noise and you go, oh, I better go to the garage. Yeah. It's not the same. Uh, it's that coffee stain where you go, oh, put a rug on it or it's looking better two weeks later. We yeah. don't worry too much about it. <laughs> um, and all this builds up. And, you know, first of all, let's talk about the wealth implication, the cost of that to people that wears that car, it wears out quickly. And then we consider the health side of it as well, all this build that builds up. Let's go to the to the health side first. Yeah. So first of all, what would happen is that dry soil builds up in the carpet. And what you have is the fiber stands up like this and is it, it creates a trap for that dust to sit and it catch it in between the fibers and that stops 
that fibers, that, that, that dust and dirt get airborne. So it reduced the chance of asthma and things like that because it stops those things going back in the air. Um, so th but the problem is when that starts to fill up. I was going to say that. Uh, if it's it fills right, up, if it's not full up, isn't it? If it's full up, it starts to be a problem. Then yeah. you start to look at the carbon, and that looks really grubby. Uh, so to address that, we'll probably use a vacuum cleaner to get that clean. But also, what happens is bacteria and things like that do love to go and live in a carpet where there's a bit of food source for them. Many times, the soil is a food source for I them. Don't even think about that. No. A little bit of breadcrumbs, the drops of milk, yeah. the protein, everything that goes on the carpet like that has now started creating a home for that bacteria and that creates a smell and then you think, there's a smell in my room, that where is that from? coming from? So that comes from the carpet. Um, how would we address that? So my advice, and in a moment I can show you what happens with what I've spoken about here. A good idea is to use a vacuum cleaner, upright vacuum cleaner with a beta bar that yeah. creates a bit of more vacuum to lift that out. Sadly, people buy a vacuum cleaner like a Henry, and Henry has got its place, right? I don't say it's a bad vacuum cleaner, but no. if you have a pile carpet, a vacuum cleaner like a Henry will just create a bit of vacuum. It's at just the doing top. on the top, it's not actually going it's into not the carpet, a, is it? It's brushing that carpet and yeah. lifting the dirt out, right? So that's the first thing. And of course, come with it the health implications of all this start to smell, the bacteria start to grow. You're breathing all that in. You're the, breathing that yeah. in, and a vacuum would usually deal with most of that problem. The next is a regular clean. Every we advise probably depends on the household, how many people there are. Every one to two years, a good carpet clean is a good idea to be helping save that investment. You've made. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna your carpet wears down quicker. You're gonna end up having to spend more money, and it's a lot more money to get a brand new carpet that's decent. Exactly. Than it is to just get your carpet cleaned. And then also consider, so, Tracy, that carpet now going under a landfill. You have yeah. not cleaned it. You're now going to throw it away. So it's bad for the environment. It's bad well. for the environment. Whereas if you cleaned it and you cared for it, your health, family is healthy and your pocket is healthy, and also the environment has benefited from you getting that cleaned rather than leave it till it's so bad that you have to replace it. Because if you leave it too long, then the cleaning would not give you that great result. Yeah. If you clean it a little sooner, then it gives you a little bit And a lot of people do get ill from their carpets, don't they? They don't realize you're getting ill from your carpets. That's right, and but, it's because yeah. of all that stuff that sits yeah. inside. Um, so that's the first thing. The next thing also to consider is uh, infestations and triggers to asthma in particular. I'm, I'm using an inhaler, I've got asthma and I know a little bit more about this. So those people watching this video might learn something from this. So let's talk about moths first. Carpet moths do not do prefer a carpet that's got a little bit of dirt on it. So they got it's, it's a bit dirty, it's great, right? It's, they, they just somehow prefer that. Um, so if you are, if you do have moths and your carpet hasn't been cleaned, then yeah, that's better for them. The other thing is also the moving of furniture. They do get disturbed. So if you get your vacuuming done properly, move things, they they disturb. So they don't like that. Right. So they don't stay there. That bookcase that sits there and has never been moved, move it. they go underneath <laughs> and they go and live there. Oh, wonderful. Or that nice unit that you bought at the charity shop that looks so beautiful but you don't move but it. you don't realize you come with some egg, uh, eggs from previous home oh, that has carpet moths and so now there. the carpet moth eggs come with it and now suddenly you've got carpet moth and it sits there and it doesn't get moved and you don't know it and then two years later you move it and there's a big patch where they've ate, ate it all the way and i'm gonna post a little picture while we're talking about carpet moths just to show you the damage that a carpet moth can actually do to your yes. carpet is quite bad. So by so moving yeah. furniture, vacuuming often, you keep, of course, your carpet clean, you keep the dry soil away, you disturb the moths and you're better for your health. Let's yeah. move then onto the health side. Mm -hmm. So as an asthma sufferer myself, um, you know, here's how it happens. First is, it's not in every home, so please don't be super alarmed by this, but um, dust mites is something that also live in certain carpets. Yeah. They are, they are, they do occur, they're not as common, but they do occur. And dust mites droppings is what's causing your, your asthma. asthma. Your asthma. Ah. So what happens is these dust mites live in the carpet. And remember we said about this bed moving away from yeah, the wall, yeah, yeah. right? That dust at the back. That's actually part of that, the skin from your, from your skin, right? Now here's the shocking bit. These are the things I didn't Every want to. Every <laughs> family. Yeah. Of four would shed about a kilo of skin a year in their home. Oh my goodness. So this is all dry <laughs> skin flakes that fall off yeah. your skin and sits in the carpet. 
and guess what? That's a food source for I was going to say that that's a food source for your... So dust. what happens yeah. is the dust mite, the, the um, dust mite will yes, then yeah. eat this skin. But what they have in them is when they chew this skin, it's quite hard. So they have a protein in their saliva that basically oh. breaks this skin down, this dry skin flake that they're chewing on, right? This protein that they use to break this down and then ingest it goes through their them and, and it comes out, out at, as a poo, right? Oh. So this little tiny minute little poo that can float <laughs> around in the air, see. you can't see. Yeah, see, I've, I've, I know all this now and it's not nice, but you carry on. <laughs> so then this little poo flies around yeah. and inside this poo is now that dried saliva yeah, thing yeah. that breaks down the, 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 the skin. And then this is flying around the air. Now it's dry. You, you then breathe it in. Now what do you think is inside your lungs? Yeah, no, There's a little yeah. bit of moisture inside your lungs, right? So this little floaty poo <laughs> flies into your lung, and you sit there and you breathe it in, and it sits in the in the, in the mucus in your in your lungs, oh, and me. then that starts to soften that little poo, right? Now that poo then starts to release mm -hmm. what was used to break down the skin flake that they chewed on. Oh. What do you think happens then? It's it starts to irritate your lung because it starts to break down your skin inside your lung, and oh. that's how it tri it triggers your asthma. Um, so that's one part Just a trigger of it. warning that might trigger you to be a bit paranoid <clears throat> about your car, but it doesn't always happen. No, it so doesn't always happen, yeah. but it's important. If Please somebody watches this and go, I've never had my carpet clean. I'm going to get my carpet oh, clean Oh, fuck it. I would say get <laughs> yes, maybe your carpet clean. Especially if you've, got, if you've got asthma sufferers in the house or sensitive people with a bit of skin allergies yeah. or things like that. And, you know, you, don't, you can even just simply go ahead and get a nice good vacuum cleaner. You've been putting that, buying that vacuum cleaner all for a long time. Go and get yourself a nice, good upright vacuum cleaner. Look at the SIBO range. We love SIBOs. Uh, very good machine. Go and get yourself a nice vacuum cleaner. Don't put it off any longer. Get yourself that nice new vacuum cleaner. Beta bars are definitely advised. And start to move furniture and start to give that a good vacuum. It's now starting to get cooler, even though we don't want to know about it. Yes, we've got a few warm days before we start to it go down here. Although they did start. say that we are probably going to have a nice warm uh, Halloween. Let's hope they're right. <laughs> this is 2023, in case you watch this later. Yeah. Um, so, it, as it now ends, edge towards winter, yes. right? We are going to be in winter. You don't want to do this moving furniture, opening windows and all that well, in the winter. Cold, no. Prepare yourself for the winter by yeah. getting a, getting that vacuum cleaner, vacuuming really thoroughly. Yeah. Look at the carpet and go, well, it's still clean. It's fine. I could get it done clean from the spring. Keep an eye out for our offers and letters that come through yes, the post because out. maybe there's a nice little offer that comes through. Sign up for my newsletter. Go on out of clean. Say you want a newsletter. Uh, <laughs> so you get an offer and you go, well, this is now the perfect time to get this carpet clean. Or if you don't, you look at the carpet, it's quite great. Get that vacuum cleaner, vacuum that carpet and move the furniture and slide them back in place. Get that dust back. Off the bed. Off the get bed. That, get get that, it away. Get that behind the bed, you know, <laughs> on the skirting board. Get that cleaned up. Get a cloth. Wipe that skirting board nice and clean. Clean that bedside table and get that nice, get that your little haven where you don't have all those skins, flakes and all the stuff. And then you don't right. think the dust mites haven't got anywhere to go then. I guess then the dust right. mites would have a lesser food source yeah. and you would dress, address that a little bit better. Right, so that's the first thing you can do. Now, that is not, I stress again, that this doesn't happen in every house. No. I don't want to create alarm and no. everybody thinks now we just get mongering. Um, but <laughs> it is a good idea to look at that floor and go, heck, move that bed away. Move that bed away from the wall and just peep in the back and go, yeah, yeah, no, we haven't done this yet. And the other thing, while, you, while you're busy moving the bed, you know what? Turn your bed mattress around at the same time. Get your attachment for your vacuum cleaner. And just hoover the mattress. Sibo has got a nice little power head. Yeah. Vacuum the mattress and vacuum the carpet. Move the bed and get everything back. Wipe everything clean. And now you've greatly reduced allergens in your home. Now, I have prepared, as always, a little something that I can show we people. We like show and tell. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Shall we go over there? Yeah, no problem. Good. So, um, first of all, let's quickly talk about... We spoke in a previous session, Tracy, about vacuum and carpet, and then you have that fluff come off and it fills the vacuum yeah. cleaner. And of course, that was shedding on a new carpet. But let's talk about how dry soil can also actually cause shedding on a on a new on an older carpet, right? So what I have here is I have a bit of sandy soil, and it represents. I'm going to show you there. It represents probably the sandy soil that goes in your carpet. 
right and if we switch then to the close-up video here what happens is this sandy soil gets tracked into your carpet and as you walk on it it rubs into the carpet and, look, and it goes and sits already. it disappears yeah. and it goes and sits deep inside the pile and this would then combine with the dry soil the stuff you bring in from outside it would create a mixture of different soil now i've gone to our rug dusting machine and i've picked up some of a, a, a mixture of oh, no. dry soil that came out of the rugs that we dust right so if you go switch again back to this look at this right so what we have here is a mixture of some fluffs oh, from wow. the carpet some whatever dirt there is and i did actually bring some gloves and i didn't forget to put them on so yes, forgive me i'll wash my hands i promise <laughs> so this is all a sort of mixture of dry soil now what happens is this sandy soil has got sharp edges every time you create you walk on the carpet you create a bit of pressure and these fibers rub against each other and these sharp edges of this sandy soil cuts this and it creates this loose fibers now let me show you what i've prepared for you here i have got my microscope Oh, and under the microscope, I'm going to move it around a bit, you will notice all these types of fibers. Now this is what I found in the, the soil that came from under the, from the dusting machine. This comes out of the, the, the rugs. Oh, wow. Now you'll notice different fibers there, that's different colors, and that's the yeah. soil that has cut the fibers and has loosened those cuts. And now the fibers cut off, and that's why your carpet wears away. In addition to that, the other dry soil is all allergens and uh, poos that you can't very see. Nice. <laughs> so that's what you have there. Uh, so that's what you have in that carpet, and that's wow. why it's so important to get it vacuumed. And then, in addition, we talked earlier about the vacuum cleaner. So here's a vacuum cleaner, and the beta bar is what I'm talking about. So you've got a beta bar underneath the vacuum cleaner. And it's best to have something. And like that. this is your SIBO upright vacuum cleaner that I would definitely advise you consider and you can also get this removed so you can get into the corners you also have a crevice tool that you can use to get into the corners and then you have also the upholstery tool which I don't have here which you can use for cleaning your upholstery and vacuuming your mattress so, Perfect. That's, so that's that's everything guys um, I think it's important that we we do address the fact that it is unhealthy for you um, to keep your carpet started obviously you don't want that going in your lungs now the other thing we just quickly want to address here as well Tracy is yeah. people think that well if a carpet is this filthy why would I ever install a carpet oh, no. I would rather have a hard floor because I can wipe that up the thing is we can maybe explore this in another video is that this dry soil sitting on a hard surface is uh, actually getting airborne much easier because your carpet airborne. holds on to it till yeah. you vacuum it but if you have a hard surface like a wood floor and you think well i'll just install a hard surface throughout the house this then caused a little bit of airflow to come in and grab that dry soil and throw it in the air and actually so it's, yeah uh, research some research many years ago in sweden have been done that actually a hard surface can cause more asthma sufferers to get triggered than, oh, with, wow, the than with the carpet i suppose the carpet's keeping it down it keeps it's, it down it's exactly. not letting it go into your lungs yes. straight away just to recap on this video you know you don't need to rush up there and see this video and think all oh, pierce says and tracy says we have to get <laughs> no, our carpet clean today Go get your vacuum cleaner. If your vacuum cleaner is a good state, make sure the back is empty. Don't fill the back up all the way to the top. If the back is half, then change it. Go around, vacuum everything, move all your furniture, clean behind that bed where all the dry soil and skin flakes and all sit. Wipe the bedside table, wipe the windowsills, get yourself that, I like to use the Dyson, it gets round, yeah. vacuum things up. Clean that nicely. And then you can decide, well, actually I need the carpets clean or no, I don't need the carpets clean. I'll get another session. Um, and then also watch out for our offers that come through because that might just be something that you can make use of to get that haven done for your home just before winter. Yes, perfect. Okay. So there you go. If you've got any other questions about this or any other questions about anything to do with carpets, upholstery, anything, just give us a shout, drop your comments below and we'll try and help you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Now.